Hey guys, I'm gonna uh, here to show off the um, ESP code that uh, TZ1 put together using the Arduino board. Here's my Arduino board wired up and ready to go. It's connected to uh, my MacBook here through USB interface. Um, naturally, I'm using the uh, Valentine 1. 1.85, 3.892 software. I've got a remote audio adapter with ESP. I got concealed display, ESP, and I have savvy down below. And we know that's ESP as well too. Um, his code is implemented in the Arduino board, and it's using this uh, program. This is called the Arduino 1.0. You can download it for free off of uh, Arduino site to upload. Um, the sketch it's called, it's uh, TZ1's code that he uh, he made available. And um, right now I'm going to turn on this, it's called the serial monitor, it's kind of like a terminal program that comes with the Arduino uh, application. And right now that's what you'll see, this is coming from the code that's been uh, uploaded into the Arduino board. And I'm going to go ahead and power up the um, V1. All right, sorry about that. All right, so there we are. We've got the uh, the ESP options up on the um, screen here. And uh, you see alerts, info scan, default set sweep, and set sweeps. That's for your, uh, you know, your custom sweeps, your band segmentation for the uh, KA band. Um, transparent user bytes to view display. Factory default. You can just uh, turn the display on and off um, on the V1 itself while you have the concealed display on. You get the mute on off, and then you can do. Uh, switch the modes with that, uh, you know, logic, advanced logic, naturally. And what you do is uh, when you want to look at something, you just hit the, uh, like we'll do the uh, info scan. I'll do that first. So you're just going to hit I on the keyboard and then hit the enter key. And there you go. So what you're looking at is um, There's my V1 with the serial number. Um, then you're looking at the sweep sessions. You can do the user set. Um, that's your program settings for the programming mode. Um, and there's your sweep definition. There's um, my max is 5 plus the 1. I don't have any customs yet. Still trying to figure out what I need to do for that. There's my uh, information on my concealed display, my remote adapter, my uh, savvy. Um, uh, as I mentioned on the forum, once you, um, if you're going to do the sweeps, and that's all you really want to do with it. Once you get them installed into the Arduino, you really, you know, there's no really need for the screen. You know, I'd have to drive around here with the MacBook plugged in uh, if I want to see all this stuff. So um, I'm not going to drive around today with the uh, to show you the alerts. But uh, if you had any alerts, it would it would show you. Um, he has some uh, symbols and stuff to show you for the arrows, and with the frequency display, that does that does work. What I just did, I just turned the alerts off, so I just hit A again and then hit the enter key. Um, yeah, so right now I have the concealed displays on right there, and I have the, there's the main unit. Now if I want to show the, um, this, the display on the main unit, I'm just going to hit 2 and enter. There's that, and now to turn it off, I'm just going to hit 1, which turns it off. And enter, and there's the mute. You can do the mutes for it. Turn them on and off, as well. There's a couple of them I'm not too sure about. User bytes, 
Um, what was the other one? Um, I'm going to have to factor these full. And the view display. I'm not really sure. I guess that would just tell me. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry about that. So I guess it's, that's what the view display is. So um, it's pretty pretty much, you know, the crux of it. And uh, I just want to thank TZ1 for his work. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting the display put on here somehow, either through my touch shield for the Arduino. Um, and hopefully maybe we'll see something, uh, some more uh, developers come out now that our uh, TZ1 did lay the groundwork for us. So uh, thanks again, TZ1, and uh, I hope, hope, this, uh, hope this is useful. Thanks, guys.